Hey everyone, this is Casey with Comments Sold. This video is going to walk you through how to connect a custom domain to Comments Sold within your dashboard. So obviously here at the home screen, you're gonna click on Setup, and then you'll click on this new custom domain section here. And you'll see just one option, just the option to enter your custom domain. So uh, for those of you who already have one and have not connected it, you can put that in here. If you don't already have one, we recommend that you go to godaddy.com and purchase a domain that you'd like to use for your shop. This will allow you to optimize your Facebook events manager. You'll need to have a verified domain. So you'll need to verify it with both comments sold and with Facebook to be able to do that moving forward. Now that the new Facebook regulations have been put in place due to Apple's iOS 14 updates, um, so in this video, we'll walk you through how to connect both to Comments Sold and to uh, Facebook for that new custom domain. Uh, this can be whatever you want it to be as long as it's available. So you'll purchase the domain. And once you've decided what that's going to be and you've purchased it, you're going to come here and you're going to enter the name that you just purchased. So whatever dot com dot net, whatever you just bought, you're going to put that in here. So mine. Uh, we're going to use this one right here, Tiliana.com. And we're going to hit set may take just a second to read what I'm entering here. And then it'll populate uh, these A and C name records. So it can look a little intimidating. It's really straightforward and I'm gonna walk you through it step by step here. So this is giving you DNS records that you're gonna need to add to that domain that you just purchased or the one that you have that you wanna connect. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to GoDaddy. So here you can see I have my domain here. Um, if you are just on the GoDaddy site, you can click My Products and it'll show you that here. And then you're going to go to DNS and hit Manage Zones. I'm going to enter that domain here that I just put into Comments Sold. And then you'll see these records pop up. So what you're going to want to do is update the records shown here with what was just produced within Comments Sold. So the first thing we're going to do is just start copying these over. So these are the A name records at the top right here. You'll see an option to add the A name records. So type, we'll put A because it's your A name record. For host, it's going to be this at symbol here. And this point two is going, um, it's going to be that value that you just copied over. The TTL should default to one hour. We're going to leave that there. And then we're going to repeat that process for all of the different values that are given here. So these four are A name records. We're going to continue to copy these over, exact same thing we just did. At for the host points to this new value. So we've got four of these that we're gonna add. Pretty straightforward, looks intimidating, not terribly so once you get to it. We're just copying and pasting. Last one here. And then something that's really important to do once we've got all of these four copied over, so we've got our four from comments sold, we've set them in here, is to go back. You can see these at the bottom are the ones I just added. This one up here that has this name at, um, we wanna just go ahead and delete that. So we're gonna click the edit icon and delete because we don't need that anymore. It could confuse um, the system when we're trying to get this connected. So we're just gonna delete this record. Um, and then this one here, the C name, this is where it can get a little bit confusing just because you're not adding this record here. You should have one called www here and you're gonna edit this one. So we gave you one value for C name. We're gonna leave the host here and change this points to number to what you see here. So this value that's the fastly.net. So we'll copy that over. We're gonna update this to the points to and save. We can again, keep the TTL to one hour. And that is what we need to do on GoDaddy for now. So we are going to go back here and click verify just to say we've done all of these steps here. Um, it can take a few minutes to update. So we're going to just kind of give it some time and make sure that um, the system is able to read all of those on our DNS records here. So I'm going to pause this video and hop back on. It can take about five to 10 minutes. So I'm going to hop back on and we'll click this verify again in just a few minutes to see if it's now able to read. Okay, we're going to try this again now. It's been several minutes. There we go. Your domain has been verified. So now we're going to wait a few minutes for the certificate to be issued. So again, all of this is stuff that's happening on the back end. There's no action required from you here. You'll see that message just prompting you. If you were to come in and hit complete now when it's not done, it's just going to remind you, please wait a few minutes. Be patient. It takes five to 10 minutes. Um, so again, I'm going to pause for just a minute. You can go around and do something else. It's not going to mess anything up if you're in other parts of your dashboard. So we'll pause and come back here in five to 10.
All right, so it's been a few minutes. We're going to come back here and click complete. You can see it's it's been successful, custom domain activated, and you'll now see this spot that says Facebook domain verification. So there's a few different ways to verify a domain with Facebook. If you've done it before, you're welcome to use one of those, but we've tried to make it a little bit easier for those of you on Comments Sold. Um, what you're gonna do is go to your Facebook business manager and go to business settings. So you can see I'm in my business manager here under business settings, and you're gonna scroll down to brand safety. And under this brand safety, so if you expand it, you'll see domains. That's where we're going to click. And this is another step that you're going to have to take that's um, pretty new for most businesses. Most businesses have not had to do this before in Business Manager. But with the privacy changes, you're going to need to verify your domain in order to prioritize your conversion events with Facebook. Here we're going to click Add. And then you'll enter the domain that you just uh, connected with comments sold. So you'll enter it here, you'll hit add domain, and then what will happen is it'll pop up and ask you how you would like to verify that domain. You're going to select um, the meta tag verification method. And what that's going to do, um, it'll ask you what method meta tag verification will give you a verification code that normally you would have to put in the header of your website. What you're going to do is just paste that code in here and we're going to do that part for you. So you're going to paste the verification code that Facebook gives you and hit submit. And that's going to be what you need to get the Facebook domain verified. So that's all that you're going to need to do on the Facebook verification side. That'll get you completely done there. Um, we have created an article on how to prioritize those conversion events with Facebook since, again, that's that's pretty new for everyone. It was just released and most people have not had a chance to do that yet. We have a helpful guide that should help you understand why you need to do it, what you're going to have to do, and some of our recommendations about the order that you should put those conversion events in. So now that you have your custom domain set up, you'll see this web address here. If you were to go to tiliana.com now, um, you will see that it takes you to the account page here. So what uh, this setting, you're probably familiar having done this in the shop settings section, but you can opt to either take somebody to the account page or take them to the um to the web store. So if you want them to see the web store at this address, you would enable this. If you want them to go to their account page, you would leave this disabled. Um, but this is what is taking me to my account page here. Um, they can still go to that shop URL that you um, have within Comments Sold, the .commentsold.com address. That will still work for them, so no problems there. No need to update anything uh, urgently, but you can start using this URL if you choose to. And that is the process for getting your custom domain connected to Comments Sold. If you have any questions, you can click on our chat bubble down here and our chat support team will be happy to help you get connected.